All right, here with sophomore forward Chris Santo after the Hawks' 80-65 win at UMass Lowell. Uh, Chris, career high 26 points, career high five steals. Let's talk about your night out there. It kind of seemed like you guys started a little slow, and as soon as Coach put you in the game, you guys, you know, kind of turned around. Yeah, I mean, it's like any time Coach puts me in, I like to uh, provide a lot of energy, a little spark off the bench. Uh, me, Nielsen, uh, Vic, even uh, Quinn. So. Um, you know, that's, that's what we try to do when we get in the games, just try to just provide a lot of energy, and, um, you know, I thought we did, did a good job of that tonight. Can I just kind of talk about where this game fell, maybe at a bad time for UMass Lowell. Uh, you know, obviously your three-point loss at home to them earlier in the season, and then coming off the loss to Franklin Pierce yeah. um, last weekend. Is that kind of, you guys wanted this game bad? Yeah, we, we had a lot to play for tonight. We wanted to get back on the right track, just coming off the loss on Saturday. And, uh, obviously, that, that loss has stuck with us all season. Uh, losing to them by three on our home court, um, you know, we don't, obviously, we like to protect our home court a lot, so um, we had a little bit extra coming for them tonight, and uh, I thought we did a good job of executing our game plan and, uh, you know, coming out and just getting away. All right, you broke your uh, streak of three straight double-doubles, and you missed eight free throws tonight, but not a bad performance. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, here with head coach Keith Dixon following the Hawks, 80-65 win at UMass Lowell tonight. Coach, maybe uh, they caught you at a bad time with the three-point loss you guys had at home to them early in the season, and then obviously coming off the Pierce loss, it didn't seem like these guys wanted to let this one get away. Yeah, you know, they, they, they're one of the teams that got us early in the season, so we, we had a little bit of uh, motivation coming into the game and, you know, coming off a loss. So, you know, these kids have uh, they've got pride. You know, we didn't want to let it last, and uh, I thought we did a good job coming in here and taking care of our business. I think at least team-wise, you guys kind of played more of your game than you had been at least at Pierce, and then maybe prior to that. I thought we turned the ball over too much against Pierce, you know. And you're giving them baskets, and I think they both play defense similarly. So tonight we really didn't. We didn't give them very many conversion baskets because of our turnovers. So um, you know, and you know, the story of the game. I think Santo was just immense. And once I subbed him in the first half, the entire tone of the game changed. So. I don't think Lowell played necessarily one of their better games, but uh, you know maybe it had something to do with us too. I, th I thought we played defense very well tonight, and we, we controlled the backboards. Talk a little bit more about Santos, especially the last three, four games now, three straight double doubles, and then tonight career high twenty six. Just obviously bringing energy off the bench, and especially where Roy and Mike maybe aren't playing as well as they played all season. Yeah, Chris is a monster. I mean, you know, Chris is, you know, I, I bet if you really look at his numbers, his points per minute, you know, I mean, he was only averaging 22 points a minute a game coming in. Um, he's just been so effective the entire season. You know, Chris's biggest problem is when we stay out of foul trouble, so I can play him more minutes, but. I've said this before, this isn't a typical kid coming off the bench that you're just, you know, hoping to give you some minutes. He's an incredibly productive uh, basketball player for the minutes he played. So, honestly, whatever he does doesn't surprise me. I mean, he's a really good player.